Grade 4 Math number 115, Metric Units of Mass and Volume. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Metric units of mass include kilograms and grams. Liters and milliliters are liquid volume. Well, did you know that a bowling ball is about the same size as a basketball? You probably knew that. But they have different mass. A bowling ball is completely solid inside and it's very heavy, and a basketball has air inside and it's much lighter. So even though they're the same size and take up the same outside space, they have different mass. A baseball bat weighs about one kilogram. A paper clip weighs about one gram. It would take about a thousand paper clips to weigh as much as one baseball bat. A kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. That's why. For liquid volume, soda pop comes in a one liter bottle or a two liter bottle. A one liter bottle is equal to 1,000 milliliters. There's about 20 drops of liquid in one milliliter. 20 tiny little drops. So there's about 20,000 drops of soda in a one liter bottle in this bottle. That means there's 40,000 in that one. So I have some abbreviations for you. A kilogram is kg, gram is g, liter is l, and milliliter is ml. When we want to convert kilograms to grams, we multiply by a thousand because there's a thousand grams for every kilogram. If you have four kilograms, you can multiply the four kilograms times a thousand and know that you've got four thousand grams. See? If you want to go the other way around and turn grams into kilograms, we divide. So because there's a thousand grams in each kilogram, we divide by a thousand. If you had four thousand grams, you divide it by a thousand and it tells you there's four kilograms. See? You can do the same thing for liters and milliliters. We multiply or divide by a thousand. If you want to convert liters to milliliters, you multiply by a thousand. And if you want to go the other way around and convert milliliters to liters, we multiply by a thousand. We divide by a thousand. See? So if we had four thousand milliliters, we divide it by a thousand, because that's how many milliliters are in each liter, and we would get four liters. See? So multiplying or dividing by a thousand will help you convert them back and forth. Now you know the abbreviations. And we're going to talk about time next. So stay with me, and I'll see you there. Bye.